How's it going dreamers? My name is Acer and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to save a position. So why would you want to do this? Why would you want to do this? For example, you have a character who has a special ability has a special ability where you can save a position and then at will teleport back to that position. This is the most obvious uh, example. There are plenty more, and one I will show you that I'm doing in my game, um, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So let me show you the the demo setup right here. It is literally <laughs> a default puppet. Okay, default puppet. Nothing's changed there for the most part. Um, this. It's just this. It's a controller sensor that's set to transmitter. Left stick. Uh, L3, rather, pressing in the left stick, is hooked up to a node that says save position. Pressing in the right stick is hooked up to a node that says go to save position or teleport to the save position. I'm going to implement that. So how would you do this? How would you do this? Um, somehow you need to like save the numbers and then follow to that position. No, 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 no. It's, it's so much easier, guys. It's so much easier than that. Um, we're going to save the position using an object. We're going to omit an object at the position and then teleport back to that object so we're gonna need an object and this object all we need on this is a tag all we need so actually we don't even need a microchip we, we can just put a tag on this we're gonna call this uh, saved position all right and we need to omit this whenever we press the button Whenever we we get this save position, uh, so let's get an emitter. Hook it up like that. We want the emitter to be once. We want it uh, time to be zero, speed zero. Uh, the object we're emitting is this cube, and what else? What else? We only want ma so max emitted at once one, max emitted at once one, and we want to recycle. Y you'll see why. If, if your project calls for something else here, then by all means. But uh, for, for this setup, we only want one of these at a time. Okay. Um, where is this emitting? Where is this emitting? We want it to emit right at the feet. Easier to put this. Yep, right there. Perfect, perfect. All right. Uh, so now let's just play. Let's see what happens. We're going to press on the right stick. And nothing happens. Oh, it's the left stick. Whoops. I forgot. It's the left stick that spawns it in. And notice how every time we press it, the old one gets destroyed and the new one is placed right at our feet. Great. Uh, so how do we teleport to it? It's as easy as hooking up a teleporter. Now, obviously, the name of this video is how to save the position of an object. So, I mean, basically, we're already done. We don't need the teleporter or anything. Emitting this tag at a position is essentially saving the position. Um, but again, I want to show you something that's a little more interesting. So uh, the tag was called, I think it's called player position or saved position. Yeah. And when we press the right stick, it'll it'll teleport to us. It'll teleport us to it. Sorry. Uh, one more thing. We also want to make this non-collidable. Probably invisible too, but for testing, let's make it visible. So we save the position and bam, we're teleporting to it. Uh, we definitely want to make the teleport gizmo in the same place we're emitting the box. And while we're at it, let's make the tag gizmo in the dead center of the box. Like that. And one more thing we can do is, in addition to the position, we can also save the orientation. So notice how Z and Z are facing the same way, Y and Y, X and X, they're all the same. If we, so now if we turn on match target orientation, we're actually going to teleport um, back to the position and we're going to be facing the same direction. So, bam. We're facing the exact same direction. If we... If we jump, we spawn in the exact same position. All right? So watch this. We, we're just going to we just fall, and we can teleport right back. So I've brought you to my RPG test level, and in this level, we have an inventory. We have an inventory, and when you enter this inventory, you can see your player. 
Now, you could just make a duplicate of your p player, but in this game you can equip things, and it would get really complicated because I'd have to equip it to the inventory character and the actual character. Lots of thermo, don't want to deal with it. So, what I do is save the position of the... When I'm entering the inventory, I save the position of the character. Then I teleport the character. This is the actual character. I teleport him or her into the inventory. When I exit the inventory, I'm right back where I started in the exact direction as well. So you can see I jump and then I, I spawn back in air. So if I go here, I'm in the inventory and when I spawn back, I'm gonna be falling off, off the edge. See? <laughs> Um, this is just, this is another application of, of why you would need to save a position. Some other examples, maybe, maybe you're, maybe you have some sort of infinite runner and, or, or even just a platformer. And when you fall off, you want the character to respawn like where you fell off. So you could continuously save the last position of the character, the last safe position, maybe with like. Maybe you could use zones to, to like uh, dedicate to, to designate safe areas. And then once you leave those zones, it'll stop saving the position. And if you die, it will it will put you back to the last safe position. That's that's another that's another example. It's very, very helpful to be able to save positions. So I hope this did help. I hope this did help. If you need more dreams help, I stream dreams on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, I also have a Discord and Twitter, so if you want to reach me when I'm not streaming, that's how. But anyway, guys, I hope to see you later, and have a great rest of your day. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you.